Jelly Bean Story Page Taya and Liam Bear's Halloween Carnival Adventure Taya and Liam Bear's Halloween Carnival Adventure It was Halloween night, and Taya and Liam Bear were buzzing with excitement. The carnival on the other side of town promised everything, haunted houses, glowing ferris wheels, and candy galore. The only problem? Their parents had said no. But the thrill of the unknown was too tempting. We'll just sneak over and be back before they even notice, Taya whispered, adjusting her witch hat as she grabbed her bike. Liam Bear, her trusty little brother, nodded in agreement. His bear costume was a bit too big, making him wobble on his bike, but his determination was strong. I'm ready. Let's go. With the moon high in the sky and the streets lined with carved pumpkins, the two set off on their bikes, the cool autumn air swirling around them. The path to the carnival was long, and the road twisted through woods and old neighborhoods they didn't often visit. As they pedaled deeper into town, strange things began to happen. The first encounter, the talking scarecrow. Passing through a field, they spotted a scarecrow standing unusually straight, its head tilted to the side as if watching them. Taya laughed. That thing looks weird. Who puts a scarecrow out on Halloween? Just as they rode by, a deep voice rumbled, aren't you two a little far from home? They screeched to a halt, eyes wide. The scarecrow's straw arm had moved, pointing down a side road. The carnival's not that way, it said. Shortcuts through the old mill. Taya was skeptical. Mom always said the old mill was creepy. Liam Bear grinned, but it's a shortcut. Against better judgment, they took the scarecrow's advice. As they pedaled down the narrow path, the trees seemed to close in around them. Shadows stretched longer, the wind whistling through the branches like whispered warnings. The shortcut, a trick or a treat. The old mill came into view, creaky and abandoned, but oddly lit with an orange glow. See? Easy, Liam Bear said, puffing his chest out bravely. But as they approached, a black cat crossed their path, its green eyes glowing. It hissed and darted into the bushes. Taya, always the cautious one, said, Liam, maybe this isn't such a good idea. Suddenly, a loud creak echoed behind them. The mill's door had swung open on its own. Well, we're not turning back now. Liam insisted, racing toward the open door. Taya followed, heart pounding but curiosity piqued. Inside, they found, not darkness or spookiness, but rows of glittering lights. The walls were lined with old-fashioned carnival posters, and the smell of freshly popped popcorn filled the air.